All right, we're gonna go through the process of how to make a custom tray. Um, a custom tray is fit just um, to the model or the patient's mouth, it's a little more customized versus the metal or the plastic trays that we use for alginates. Um, so this type of custom tray is um, the hydroplastic little pellets. So we're just gonna take one um, scoop here and this is a hot water bath, so we're just gonna put the pellets right in there, and that takes about a minute or so, and the light blue will actually start to turn clear almost, and they end up like sticking together, if you can see that. They kind of clump together as they heat. And so they're starting to turn clear. So after about 15, 20 seconds, take a spatula, and you can kind of squish the um, pellets together. Now they're forming like a, almost like a putty material. And so you know it's heated enough when all the blue is clear. So if you can see here, that's see-through, clear. Um, so you're gonna roll it into a ball and then you're gonna use your maxillary um, model, the ideal set, the model that we made the week one. Um, so roll into a ball and then you're gonna, I call it like a little slug. <laughs> you're gonna shape that, cause we're gonna do just a quadrant anterior tray. So from about the first premolar over to the other um, first premolar. So you're gonna just lightly push down. We want it to come over onto the palate side and then also we want it to come up into the vestibule, so up in the anterior. And then we do need to form a handle because when you place a tray, it's, you gotta have something to hold. So our handle is gonna come straight out off of the incisal edge, just like the alginate trays. You can't um, hold on to the tray if it's up in the vestibule. So you want it to be um, long enough to be able to hang on to, not real short. And again, you want it to be flat with, oh, with the uh, clusal plane too. And as it's cooling, it'll start to um, harden back up. You don't wanna push too firm against the teeth themselves because of, um, the plastic will, or the tray itself will start to form around the teeth and then you won't have any space for like impression material. So you just wanna use a light pressure when you're forming the handle and the tray itself. So again, we're doing premolar to premolar up onto the palatal area, up into the vestibule. The handle should be flat with the occlusal plane and enough to hang on to. Width wise, it should be about an inch or so, okay? And then as it starts to set, you'll want to just try it on and off to make sure it's not locked onto the model. And then it's almost there. It starts to kind of turn back to that um, like opaque shade of the plastic before it was melted. And so again, this is just for a quadrant, just an anterior. We would obviously have to use probably two to three scoops to do a full arch um, custom tray. So this is just one style. And so, um, yep, we're just gonna do the anterior and it should look something like this when you are done.